Hi, uh, many thanks for your interest in my balloon mock-up graphics file, which is on sale at Graphic River. Um, this is a mock-up which basically allows you to present your artwork, um, your logo designs, whatever design work you may have done, um, on a, uh, a floating balloon, as if it were painted onto the balloon. Um, a fun way to present your uh, design work, and here's a few explanations on how to get the most out of the file and what its main features are. Once you open the file, you will see I've prepared four sample balloons in four different colors and uh, two of them with uh, a sample uh, artwork on them, um, just to give you uh, a quick idea on uh, how this may look. Um, if we zoom in here, the full size, this is actually a nicely uh, detailed work that had 300 dpi and uh, you will see here um, that th there's a bit of detailed work like stretch marks and little shades and uh, glass on to give the balloon more realism and I've also added a little string here round, wound around the knot at the bottom and the string falling off there so just to give a little detail and uh, to place your artwork this is actually very easy mm, each of the four balloons has um, a layer called your artwork we'll open here with balloon one which is the top left you see here this is a smart object layer uh, called your artwork. You, all you have to do is double click this and you will see here how the artwork um, opens up in a new file. Um, simply delete or hide whatever is there at the moment, the sample artwork, and open any of your designs. I've opened one a sample design here already and simply drag it over, uh, save Control S, close Control W and you see magically this appears on your balloon and uh, appears perfectly integrated with the balloon shape and all the shadings and highlights. So very easy to use and uh, extremely quick to get results here. Um, now the balloon color itself is also easy, really easy to change. You've got the main balloon shape layer here and all you have to do is double click that to open the layer properties, uh, go into color overlay and uh, just play around with uh, colors, uh, anything goes really, and you can change color scheme of your presentation. Mm, lighter, the lighter color spectrum up here at the top works better because uh, balloons, simply by their nature, look a little transparent and light colored most of the time. Uh, but of course, you can anything goes, you can choose any color you may wish. And just close that here. Now, the way this works is that basically, um, let's just zoom in here a little to see all the details sent to this. Um, we have a basic balloon shape, which is here the main balloon shape. And on, on top of this, you place your artwork. And on top of this, you have adjustments and uh, shadows and highlight layers, which give the depth and detail um, to the balloon. So if we just take this apart, this makes it uh, pretty logical and you can see how this works. Uh, taking off the artwork, taking off the shadows, you see that we are basically left with just a shape, uh, uh, a color and an opacity of 80% uh, to, to just have it see through a little so you can see the background shine through the balloon a little as it would realistically. And uh, uh, if we add the adjustments, you will see here uh, how it adds the contours, uh, the depth, the roundness, the shades and the highlights to the balloon. All of these are actually highly customizable. Um, you can, if we open this here, you see there's a, there's a host of layers there which uh, give all these effects. I've labeled them all uh, so that they're all pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, um, you've got the bottom highlight layer here. You take that on and off and you see how the glare at the bottom of the balloon shows and hides. Uh, you've got the top highlight and you can take these and you can turn down the opacity if you want to give it a little less glare, make it look a little more rubbery or make it look brighter and more reflection. Um, you've got uh, stretches, uh, very subtle stretches at the top and at the bottom of the balloon. You can see here it looks a little like uh, the rubber is stretching off. Um, uh, here you see it. Uh, hang on bottom stretches here you see if we increase the opacity you know where these come from and um, you've got uh, 
shadows which uh, is basically this main area around here which gives the uh, ring of darker color around the middle of the balloon let me just uh, get the opacity back here if you see the shadows are actually only at 40 percent you can make them a lot stronger you've got um, extra shadows uh, extra highlights which you can make a lot higher you've got an overall highlight which gives uh, more brightness to the any colors you may choose and so you can just play around with that and whichever ways you see fit and whichever way you think your benefits your artwork most um, the default settings really work quite well for pretty much anything and if you play around with them there's really only need to adjust them very slightly but you have all the options and there's a lot of layers to play around with so you can uh, get a lot of different results if you want to invest the time and have some fun with that. The same goes of course for the transparency uh, of the balloon you can just make that fully opaque and there's no shine through which gives a more solid more rubbery feel to the balloon um, I thought it's more fun if you can see whatever background you put behind it, if you can see it shine through a little. Um, then uh, on top of the adjustments, here's have the string back. You can ha show and hide that if you like it or not. Um, and then I've added a few details to give the balloon a little more realism, a little more depth, um, which are in the reflections and details folder. Uh, which is stuck in between the balloon shape and the artwork so when you place your artwork you actually place it on top of the details because you really want your artwork to stand out and not any of the um, uh, highlights, stretches, whatever you may choose from the details. I've prepared um, four different detail layers which you can either choose any one of them or just mix them up and let's just get rid of the artwork here so we can see this better. At the moment you see I've just got a, a little swirly abstract um, uh, shape here flowing across the balloon which gives it a little more depth. Um, you see this when we hide it. Well, I, we used it at very little opacity. Actually this is a little too high. Maybe something like 10 would be nice. So you, you can see it gives it a little bit more rubbery feel. And then I've got uh, another one which is a swirly cloud detail which gives a little more reflection, a little more whiteness, uh, makes the whole thing a little brighter and makes it makes it look a little uh, creamier. Uh, you can mix the both up, um, probably take the opacity down to something like 40, 30 so it looks nice and with this with the opacity down and you can see it's a, it's a more reflective balloon which seems to have more depth and more simply more going on there and then I've also added a couple of uh, photo reflection maps uh, one of which is a sky reflection which uh, obviously looks even even stronger now that we've placed it on a sky background if you take away the sky background here hide it you can see there's a sun highlight and uh, a few clouds there and it looks as if the sky is reflecting in the balloon uh, works really great if you place it in front of a building, uh, any architecture, a glass architecture building makes that look great. Uh, or, as you can see here, just a sky image and it looks really great, uh, reflective in the balloon. And the other is a uh, sunset beach, uh, which makes it look as if the balloon was floating on top of a uh, beach with the sun going down. Um, again, these layers, uh, you can play around with them, you can see here this would be the full opacity of the image and we use a soft light um, blending mode and we take the opacity down to something like 50 and that makes it look realistic and you can see the other balloon sample balloons here all have different uh, details the red balloon which would be balloon 2 has uh, the sky the swirly cloud and the abstract all mixed together with different uh, blending opacity and it, it makes it look like there's a lot going on in that balloon uh, nice reflection a nice depth to the balloon the number three balloon has the sunset mixed up with a bit of swirlies hang on I just moved a shadow layer there and uh, the green balloon balloon number four um, has hang on let me just check what I did there reflections there you go, has the, both the ab abstract 
cloud and abstract uh, layers mixed together. A quick word on the uh, uh, layer mask we use here to mask out uh, the artwork you place on there in your smart object. Uh, when you play around with your uh, artwork, sometimes you may lose that layer mask or it may shift or, um, or change and uh, your artwork looks like it's not 100% perfectly placed on top of the balloon. Um, if, if that happens, you can regain the layer mask uh, really easily by simply uh, clicking it, right clicking it, um, deleting that layer mask um, and then uh, choosing the main balloon shape control click on the icon you can see here it's uh, it's uh, selected the balloon shape uh, click back on your artwork smart object and then at the bottom of the layers palette simply choose add layer mask and now uh, the, your uh, the background is again masked out uh, perfectly from the smart object this basically prevents that any artwork you place uh, in the smart object overlaps or uh, stretches out of the balloon shape into the background and like this it, it'll all be nicely cut off at the uh, borders uh, of the balloon. So I hope uh, you enjoy this file, um, have some fun with it. Um, if you have any questions you can always get in touch with me through my Graphic River profile or through my website. I'm always happy to help and uh, have fun.